What if I told you that all these 3D models were made without me ever touching 3D modeling software? These models all are generated with Typo AI. In this video, I will teach you step by step how to go from AI powered 3D modeling all the way to 3D printing. I will share the exact methods and tips I use to make the process smoother and easier. When it comes to 3D printing, the hardest part isn't the printing itself. Printers today are amazing, they can handle just about anything you throw at them. The real challenge is 3D modeling. Traditional modeling takes time, skill and years of practice. But with Tripo AI it's much easier. You can choose between two options to start. One click generation which will generate instant fully textured model and second one is build and refine. You start with base model which will edit later. Then you use text or image to generate 3D model. You can choose different style. Mesh resolution can be choosed, standard at the moment and ultra is coming soon. More details takes more time also. If you want to share your models with others, you can make private to public. Smart low poly can be turned on when you want low poly meshes with handcrafted topology. It will also cost more credit. HD textures or normal textures can be choosed. Also HD cost more credit. Topology quad or triangles. Polygon's amount is set to auto by default, but it can be changed manually also. And there is generate button, which will show you how much credits it will take. You can upload image or input the description of the model you want to generate or modify. For image preview generation, you can choose Flux1 Context Pro, Flux1 Dev or ChatGPT 4.0. You can even choose debos for characters and if you are out of ideas there is an inspiration section which gives you different prompts. Good description of the model you want is very important, the results depend on it. Before you get 3D model you will get the image per view which costs 10 credits and takes about 13 seconds to generate. It's done and the image looks great. I will choose cartoon style and click generate. It takes about 2 to 3 minutes. The results are pretty good. Is it the same as on the image preview? It's not, but it's still very good and matches my description. You can turn on wireframe mode or solid mode. You can export models in six different formats. For 3D printing, I will choose STL. You can automatically segment your model and make each part editable. If you didn't generate texture model or you just want to modify it, you can do it with text or image. Describe what you want to or upload reference image. The results are good, it is a little bit funny, but it copied the reference image very well. You can also rig your model. When auto ringing is done, you can choose between different animations. Animations were great on this model. The results depend on your model. You can rig most of the models, but you will not get good results every time. If you have messed up your model and want to previous model back, you can do it at the history tab. Here you can also find assets tab where you can access all your models you have generated. There is also gallery where you can find generated models by other users. You can also download these and 3D print them as well. So let's create more 3D models. Before you start 3D printing, I will share some useful tips to make the whole process smoother and easier. When your slicer gives an error non manifold edges, you can fix it with repair function if you have it available on your slicer. Bamboo Studio has it. Before you print these models, check first layer in the preview. If there are small contact with the bed, your print will fail. To fix this issue, move model a little bit down and you will get larger contact area. These models are not specially made for 3D printing, so you need to use more support material than you usually use. Three supports were great, easier to remove also. These models printed really well. I did have a few support failures, but nothing serious. I used plenty of supports to make sure I got good results, though removing them took some time. Still the effort was worth it. They turned out great. I tested both text to 3D and short prompts and more detailed descriptions. And both worked surprisingly well. I also tried image to 3D and it created some amazing models that you can actually 3D print. The process is super easy. 
Most of the generated models are perfectly printable, though every now and then you might run into a tricky one. Very good details. So if you have an idea of some cool 3D model, but you lack of skills, Tripo 3.0 can make it happen. That's it for this video. If you want to start generating your own 3D models, check out the special invite link and code in the description. You will get an extra 500 credits plus a discount code for subscriptions that gives you 60% off. Thanks for watching.